Chapter 8, Lesson 9, Right Inequalities. Our learning objective is you will write an inequality for a word sentence and tell what type of numbers the variable can represent and write a word sentence for a given inequality. Okay, so our essential question is how do you write an inequality to represent a situation? Connect. You can use what you know about writing equations to help you write inequalities since we've been writing equations for a couple days now. Unlock the problem. The highest temperature ever recorded at the South Pole was 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Write an inequality to show that the temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit at the South Pole is less than or equal to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. So we just think about it. Well, first, let's look over here on the right. Underline the words that tell you which inequality symbol to use. So, less than or equal to kind of tells us which symbol we need to use. And will you use an equal sign in your inequality? Um, no, because that was kind of a trick question. But no, the equation is not an in inequality, has an equal sign. Okay? So, equations. Equations have equal signs. Inequalities do not. Okay, so we're going to think the temperature, which we're going to represent by T, is less than or equal to less than or equal to 8 degrees Fahrenheit. So, an inequality that describes the temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit at the South Pole is T is less than or equal to 8. That's all we're doing. Try this. The directors of an animal shelter need to raise money or raise more than $50,000. So, they need to raise more than $50,000. During a fundraiser, write an inequality that represents the amount of money, M, in dollars that the directors need to raise. So the amount of money they need to raise is more than 50000 That looked like an eight. 50000 So an inequality that describes the amount of money, M, in dollars is... M, it needs to be greater than 50,000. The phrase is more than is equivalent to is greater than, so you use that symbol. Example one. Write an inequality for the word sentence. Tell what type of numbers the variable in the inequality can represent. So the weight is less than three and a half pounds. The weight is less than. So the weight, we're going to let W represent the weight. And we're going to say that it is less than three and one half pounds, where W is a positive number. B, there must be at least 65 police officers on duty. There must be at least 65 police officers on duty. Let P represent the number of police officers, and the phrase at least is equivalent to is greater than or equal to. So if I say you must have at least 10 sentences in your Canvas journal, you have to have 10 sentences or more. You can't have less than. Okay. Let's just scroll down a little. Okay. So the number of officers, which we're going to put P, is greater than or equal to 65. 
where P is a whole number. Now, why we put that, why P is represents, um, why I specified that it would be a whole number is because P represents a number of people and it wouldn't make sense to have part of a person or a negative of a person. So I wouldn't say I'm going to have six and a half police officers there. It has to be a whole number. And example two. Write two word sentences for the inequality. N is less than or equal to three tenths. Okay, so N is less than or equal to three tenths. N is no more than three tenths. Okay. So if a number is less than, it is not more than. That's all that's wanting to say. Okay. So we're, we're writing it two ways. So for B, two ways to write that is A is greater than. Negative four. Or we could say A is more than negative four. 